Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus lab read. This is going to be answer to the question that you have on your mind. So whatever question you have on your mind, think of that, and I will be getting you the answer from the book of answers. So I'm going to give you five seconds time to think of your question. It's going to be a quick one. So let's see. I will be also pulling out one oracle card for you. So let's see. Whatever your question is, let's see the answer to that. You will regret it. I really feel like, you know, uh, if you're asking uh, for something, I really feel like you know, it's not good for you. If you are um, thinking of something, it's not good for you. If you're asking like, you know, um, shall I get back with them? Shall I wait for them? Um, do they love me? I really feel like, you know, the, the answer is a no and it's, it's not in your favor. So, even if you are asking or even if you are praying for something, I really feel like, you know, having it is going to create issues for you. So probably you're going to regret later on for having it. I feel like, you know, for some of you, you really need to know one thing, you know, whatever it is that you are asking for. For instance, you want to get married to a specific someone. Um, you probably will get it, but then you will regret having it. So or doing what you are wanting to do right now. So I really feel like, you know, whatever it is that you're asking for is not good for you. Uh, it's not going to work out well for you. So don't ask for just that. Make sure that, you know, whenever you are asking about it, whenever you are craving for it or wanting it or praying for it, pray in a perfect way. Like, you know, for instance, um, you want to get a car. Don't say just that you desire to have a car. Just say that you desire to have a car in a loving and a beautiful way. So everyone involved in the whole situation is happy, excited about the whole thing. Don't just ask for a car because you might get car in so many different ways. So try in, in, in so many negative ways as well. So just make sure that you're, whatever you're praying for, for instance, you want to get married, pray for your marriage in a beautiful, in a loving and the in the most uh, abundant way. Don't ask for just one thing, ask for a very, uh, you know, ask for that one thing in a very beautiful way. So I feel like, you know, if you just want a specific, for instance, if you want a specific someone or you want to get married to that person, maybe they are going to marry you. Maybe they are going to leave the third party for you, but it would not be good for you. You would regret that, you know, why did they leave the third party for me? They, they could have stayed with the third party. And the reason could be like, maybe you are going to have issues with that person later on. Maybe you're going to have issues with the family later on. Maybe this person is going to leave you also for another person in their life. So I really feel like, you know, there is some lesson to learn around it. One, uh, you know, uh, make sure that you're not creating bad karma for yourself whenever you're asking for anything like that. Second, make sure that whenever you're asking for something, you're asking for for the highest good of all involved in that as well. So, you know, it, it stays, you know, in a, in a very beautiful uh, bubble of uh, happiness and joyful energies. So try doing that. Let's see uh, some oracle guidance around this uh, question that you had. Let's see. Why will you regret and what shall you do? Why will you regret it and what shall you do? Why will you regret it? And what shall you do? So we do have two cards here. You had you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are washed over by angels. I really feel like you know probably this the situation that you are in right now or that you are asking for right now. This is not what you are born to have or want to do. I really feel like you know this might be a situation which has. Uh, pushed you forward to move in a new direction for yourself but this is not what you deserve or should desire there is something better than than you are expecting of uh, your current situation right now so allow that you know a uh, natural flow of events in your life to, to take you closer to your life purpose and this is not a part of it i really feel like you know you are being pushed to a different direction because of this uh, situation that you are you are having right now around whatever it is that you're asking for um i really feel like you know there there is something better coming up for you and um you know just learn from it and move forward i really feel like you know there is a um, special bond that is coming in for you in 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 uh, in relationships and in you know when it comes to your uh, pets as well 
that is yet to come just know that god and heavens are taking care of everything that you that you love and that you want and you, that you desire so don't believe that you know whatever it is that you're wanting is the only thing that you can have uh, or is the last thing over there to 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 grab you will be having more and better opportunities coming up for you so don't uh you know don't take this offer right now for instance if you're asking like you know um shall i take this offer shall, shall i join this uh, job or something there is something better coming up because there uh, you will regret choosing this job because maybe there is a better opportunity coming up so try to have patience and try to let go and try to surrender for now because you will be happy that you did so yeah that's um what it is let's take one more card uh, from the oracle deck let's see what your soul really wants you to know let's take the soul card let me let me put this back so we can spread the cards here let's see what your soul really wants you to know right now what is the uh what is it that you need to do right now what is your soul's message what is your soul's message okay so we do have three cards here so let's see who am I ready to forgive? I feel like you know, there's somebody from the past probably you need to forgive and forget and move forward. Let's see what it says. I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Uh, is it time to let go, forgive and move onward? Is your soul ready to forgive someone or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom and insight. Look at it from a, from the shoes from their shoes and notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul wants? Today's soul action that you can do is write a forgiveness letter, then practice the hupnopnopno prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. So there is something that you have to let go of. There is someone out there who you really need to release. Don't hold on to something or someone that, that is not good for you. So I really feel like it's time for you to surrender. Um, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? So you really need to practice self-love right now. Stop chasing after something or someone which is not good for you. And you know that. You know, if a person is ignoring you, don't chase that person. Just let that go if your compassion does not include yourself it is incomplete for some of you maybe you're gonna say that oh but i love this person oh i love this you know you know situation or whatever but if you don't love yourself you cannot be compassionate towards other people so it's very important right now for you to love yourself uh soul action that you can choose today is choose one self-care action to do today set stronger boundaries meditate and listen to your heart speak to yourself with compassion Focus on your thoughts. Say no to something that is in a soul yes. Say yes to something that you are afraid of. Let go of what you cannot control. Stay far away from drama and negativity. Ask for help and allow it. Write down three things you are grateful for. So that is something that you should do today to get rid of the negative energies and the energy that you're holding on to as well. So the last card is how can I deepen my trust right now? Trust surrender let go of the wheel you can trust you can trust yourself trust fully in yourself so that you can deepen your trust in others trust creates safety and when you feel safe you feel unstoppable let go and trust is the action that you need to take today find your center in the chaos and be certain with yourself so you can deepen your trust in others so that's what you need to be doing right now in the given situation regarding the question that you had so i hope it was of help and if you are willing to purchase any of the services that are offered check the description box and yeah till i do the next read for you guys take care and bye